In this video we're going to have a look at the ovary, we're going to annotate all of the different parts that are inside of the ovary and we're going to do a brief overview of the process of oogenesis, so the formation of egg cells. So the process of oogenesis involves mitosis, cell growth, two divisions of meiosis and then differentiation at the end which is the same as the processes that happen in spermatogenesis the formation of sperm cells. So in terms of mitosis, this is happening at the start of this process, the same as with all body cells. The cells that are going to go on to become the final ovum are in the cell cycle going through mitosis, then interphase, then mitosis, then interphase again, and they have 23 pairs of chromosomes. They are diploid cells. By the end of oogenesis, we have an ovum which has 23 single cells, which, are, which means it is a haploid cell. So before we go through the process of oogenesis, in terms of the things we are looking at, firstly we'll be looking at follicles, and these grow. We will also be looking at oocytes, and when we talk about these we are talking about division, so they are dividing. So we're going to start at the top left here of this ovary. This picture here shows a primary follicle, which is shown by all of these little circles around the outside. And within the primary follicle is a primary oocyte. follicle and the primary oocyte then go through their different processes here. So the follicle is going through growth and the primary oocyte is going through meiosis 1. This forms this second structure here which is a secondary follicle which contains a secondary oocyte. The follicle there will continue to grow. And it will become this third structure here, which is called a graphian follicle. which can also be referred to as a mature follicle. And this is still containing a secondary oocyte. There's been no further division here to form this structure in the middle here. With a graphian follicle, it has grown, so it's a bit bigger, but it also now has this fluid fill section in the middle here. The secondary oocyte then goes through the process of ovulation where it is released from the ovary. Okay, so this is a secondary oocyte coming out here. This needs to go through a number of processes before it can actually form a final ovum. So firstly, it needs to be fertilized. It then will go through a full meiosis 2 division and finally it will differentiate to become an ovum. So remember with an ovum this is now haploid. So we've gone through two divisions of meiosis and it has half the number of chromosomes. Here we still have the follicle cells. They are not released in ovulation. It's the secondary oocyte that is released. The follicle cells remain inside of the ovary and they start to form these structures here. So this large structure is the corpus luteum. And this is involved in hormone production throughout the rest of uh, the female cycle. 
here this is a developing corpus luteum and this is then a degenerating corpus luteum and we look at the corpus luteum in a little bit more detail later on so the final thing to talk about is what else is produced during meiosis one and produced during meiosis two so obviously we're going through a division here so this primary oocyte doesn't just form a secondary oocyte there is then another product from meiosis one and then over here with meiosis two again after this division it just doesn't it doesn't go from a secondary oocyte just to one ovum in these processes polar bodies are formed and these are basically just very small cells which have no further development they degenerate And this is different from what happens in spermatogenesis, which we will look at in a separate video.